Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Skyden with myself, Lewis. Hope you're great and having a brilliant day. So, in the last episode, we went to the Skyden itself, the magnificent Skyden, and we got our first quest. And as far as I'm aware, we've already completed the first quest, which is awesome. If we have a look in here in our quests, we have the first right, which is to find some flesh, some bone meal, and some gunpowder, or irregular bones even. And we have all this stuff, so we're looking pretty good. So I think today we're going to go hand in our first ever quest and see what these guys think about it. You know, I'm intrigued. I've thrown down some more trees, so hopefully, you know, we can get some more, um, get some more wood, which will be nice. And then we can eventually make our way over to the moosh room so we can start getting some food. Because I'm starting to run out of food and I have to keep eating rotten flesh, which is horrible. These guys are barely dropping any apples, so we definitely need a stable type of food. And we've already got loads of cobblestone. Nice! So it'll take us no time at all to make our way over to the moosh room, which would be good. And then we can start using that mycelium stuff and we can start growing it. And apparently we need it for something. I have no idea what, but some user told me that we have to save the mycelium or we need to start allowing it to spread or something along that line. And then we can use it for something good, which I'm looking forward to. But, in the meantime, we have a quest to hand in, so let's make our way to the Sky Den. Oh yeah, oh my god, there is Fritz and Hennepin. Ha, huh, so cool. So let's go speak to the Null Boss and see exactly what he wants. Mr. Null Boss, what have you got for me? Oh, well done. Clearly you have what it takes to be a part of the Sky Den. I welcome you with open arms. The others and I are here by opening trade with you. Whenever you like, come see what we have to offer. I have some more jobs in mind for you. Come see me again when you're ready to advance. Congratulations on taking your first steps here. Nice. Cool. Oh, and we got some levels. Do we get levels? I think. Oh, we got some steak. We got some steak, guys. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, I don't know if I should be eating that. I'm going to hold on to that. I don't know. Hmm. They seem to say that you need everything for everything else. I don't know why can you stake for, but I don't know. The merchant. Hmm, show me your wares. Ah, okay, right, I see. So, basalt is made with... Ah, so we can get marble. Ah, okay. And I'm guessing golden nuggets are going to come from Foundcraft. I'm taking a wild guess right there. The arcanist. I need materials. Okay, so is there anything we can actually have now? The only things that we could have, I'm guessing when we get into Foundcraft, will be Amber and Knowledge Fragments. Okay. So I'm trying in my head to add up what we're going, like how, how there'll be quests out of this and how we'll, we'll move forward. And the only thing with this I can see is Knowledge Fragments, so I guess that's cool. Okay, what else have we got, Mr. Herbalist? So he'll do Stone for Dirt. Oh, that's really good actually, because I was actually I really wanted some dirt so we can get the uh, island going a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and sticks for rubble wood, saplings, spruce leaves, jungle saplings, birch saplings. Huh. Nice. Okay, and the hunter. Oh, he's gonna have some wicked gear, isn't he? Oh, we can get a head. That is horrible. And we can trade mushroom for fish. Uh, bread for raw pork chops, string for cobwebs. Oh, nice. So we can get some pretty good things. We can get some straw, melons for slime. All right, okay. So should we see what this guy actually wants? Let's have a look. So welcome again, new blood. What is on your mind? I want to complete further rites. Let's see if you have anything for you. So rites of spring. Okay. The soil up here is barren. Our herbalist can get you more, but without grass, farming is a wasted effort. We have grass here we can offer you, but in exchange, you'll have to help us share up, shore up some resources. Bring us logs for new mate for raw materials, and I'll give you the grass you need. Okay, right, so this guy wants to do rites of spring. So I've been asked by the null boss to help keep the sky den supplied with wood in return for a grass block oh okay right so we need to just give him loads of wood huh okay right so if we're going to be doing that it means we're going to need a lot of soil which is fine really because you know we've got this whole place over here made out of dirt we can quite easily knock all that down 
we can still have a mob grinder with cobble and we can grow loads more trees. I think that'll be good and it should take us no time at all to get loads of saplings. At least I don't think it should do. And I'm guessing he... Oh! <laughs> hey! I'm guessing by the way he meant wood. He means logs. I think planks would be too easy. Uh, yeah, he means wood. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to need room. So, hmm, let's have a sleep. And we're going to start knocking this place down so we can get a load more ground for saplings. Yay! I think that's going to be fun. And we've got a load of saplings in already. We've got another egg, so we've literally almost got enough. We just need some dirt. So I'm going to knock this place down. And I'm going to make a shovel, actually, because that's probably going to come in fairly handy. So let's get a shovel. Oh, we're going to need more sticks. Okay. And here we go. So, one shovel coming up. Ba-bam, ba-bam. And now, this guy can come right down. Oh, this is going to be good, because think of the amount of saplings we can grow. I might even use this area here specifically for saplings. Oh, oh, I don't like the look of that. Should we get some? Okay, right, we've got loads of cobble. So if we grab you and do this, we should get cobble slabs. Nice, okay, right, so we've got loads of cobble slabs. So that means we can start going like this for the areas that we're breaking. Which is going to work really well. Now, these areas here should, as far as I'm aware, I'll be able to spawn mobs. So I'm going to place some torches around to hopefully stop that from happening. Yeah, good times. So we shouldn't have any mob spawning here now. And I can go ahead and get all of this dirt so, you know, we can start getting loads of good saplings. And I just dropped one. <laughs> that sucks. And we'll put some more of this down. So my plan is to use as much of these half slabs as I can to try and get this place as safe as possible. I know that we have the keep inventory turned on, but that's still no excuse to be playing recklessly, I think. I think that takes the fun out of it. The idea of having keep inventory on is so that if, for any reason, I have something mega important and I end up dying and losing it, that would suck really bad. And I don't know if that's something I could come back from, because... Some of these, like some of the sky blocks, if you lose something like some of the sand or something, you're pretty much done for then, which would very much suck and I would not enjoy that. So that is the reason we have the keep inventory turned on so we don't have that problem. Right, we're almost there. Cool! Okay, so we just need to do this side and then we've done all of this. So I'm wondering how many trees we're going to have to grow before we can get all the wood that the null boss is after. And once we've done that, we can then get ourselves some... Oh, we can get rid of this now. Once we've done that... Oh, look, there's another tree. Nice. Once we've done that, we can then start farming. Now, it, my Minecraft knowledge of vanilla goodness is very much not good so is it still the same rules apply you'll have to let me know this in which if you have grass and flowers and things you'll have animal spawn was that a thing in 1.4.7 or was the rules different back then i don't know you guys are going to have to let me know that one because i know in newer versions i'm pretty sure you have to have grass and flowers and things and eventually 
you'll find that guys will spawn, like pigs and chickens and all those good guys. So I'm kind of hoping that's going to stick about. Let's do all of this as well. Cool. And I don't know how I'm going to get these guys. Oh, no. Don't do that. Hey. Okay, right, so we've got a full stack of 64 dirt, which is great, because we can start using this now to build out probably... Hmm. Hmm. It's a very good question, because where do I actually want to do this? Do I want to do this here, or do I want to build... I could build, like, another island here, like, right in the middle of this archway for the... for the dirt for growing trees on. That could work. Yeah, I quite like that idea. Okay, right, so, let's throw the wood that we have in there, good times, and we've still got a load of these, so I think we're going to finish up by making our way over here, and getting ourselves some good things. So, we need food, so let's go and combat that. Once we have food, we can then start working on farming, and we can work on getting all our trees together, on, you know, not on an empty stomach, because no one likes working on an empty stomach, and that is me included. Oh no, I absolutely, I can't do working on an empty stomach, because it growls, and it's horrible. Oh, we got another, is that another tree? No. So we should have all the wood that we need soon, but I'm pretty looking forward to having some mushroom stew. And how far away are we? Oh, there he is. I think we got enough. Uh, any closer? Almost. Oh, I can taste that lovely mushroom stew already. Oh, I can hear the mushroom stew already. <laughs> Almost there. Hey, there we go. Okay, right. So, feel free to expand this island, but be sure not to destroy all the mycelium. You'll need it. Okay, right, so we can't do that, so we have to leave some of it. And we've got a mushroom here, which is good, who we're going to call Petunia. So this is going to be Petunia, our mushroom, and she is going to feed us for the upcoming, uh, you know, the upcoming days. Which is going to be good, because we're going to have all the food, we're going to have all of the wood and the saplings and all that stuff. This is good stuff. Now let's get ourselves some bowls, and I'm going to see if I can get, got eight bowls. Okay. And let's get some food. Now, as far as I'm aware, these guys don't stack, I think. So we're going to have an inventory full of mushroom stew, but it's going to be amazing. So, hey, give me all your stews. Yummy. Nice. Look at all that. All the mushroom stew. Loving it. I'm sure Petunia is happy to have a friend, and I'm happy to have a friend called Petunia. <laughs> Cool beans, guys. Alrighty, so that is going to be that for this episode. We have got a decent amount of cobble on the go, I believe. Whoa. Oh my god, this is so good. We've got all the things. We've got Mushroom Stew. We've got Petunia. We've proved ourselves with our first quest of awesomeness, and now we have our second quest called Rite of Spring, where we have to get 64 piece or logs of wood, which I'm sure is going to take no time at all once we get our second woody island made up. I might even make it like over here, so we have like, like coming around. Yeah, that's going to be so good. <laughs> cool beans, guys. All right, have a good one. I'll see you later, and goodbye.